Hey guys, it's Heather, welcome back. Today I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover versus the Tarte Face Tape Foundation. So on one side of my face, I have one foundation and on the other, I have the other. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Which do you think is on this side and which do you think is on this side? So I'm gonna do the application, do the side-by-side -side comparison first, and then we'll get into like features, benefits of each foundation, as well as like different categories, how they perform. So here we go. All right, so I think I'm decently zoomed in. I'm gonna start with the shape tape on the right side of my face. So like everything here over. This is also the harder area to cover because I have like some dark spots and a little bit more going on. I do have a little bit of color right now. So it's the spots I feel like are a little bit more prominent. So I know that the Estee Lauder, the double wear can definitely cover this no problem. That's why I'm gonna put this over on this side and then I'm gonna do the double wear over on the left side. The shade that I am using, which is going to be a little bit light is the neutral, is it light medium neutral? and I'm gonna use it on this brush because this is one that I have been using it on and then I'll use a completely different brush for the other side. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on here and then I just have to look in this mirror to my right to make sure that I am actually putting it on just the right side and not everywhere else. So it's giving really, really good coverage already. Hopefully that's like somewhat even. And I totally put way too much on because I was thinking I was doing a full face. So I put like double the amount on that I usually use, but oh well. I'm just gonna put a little bit down my neck. I'm gonna kind of tap it in here, do like half the inside of my eyebrow. Okay, great, great coverage. Easier to work with, not as strangling as the Estee Lauder Double Wear, the maximum cover and it is more forgiving, so it doesn't dry down as quickly, and it's definitely looks like skin. And you guys know already that I really like this foundation, and my favorite way to wear it is with like a luminizing primer underneath, or some kind of like, a, even like the Polish Choice, the Glow Moisturizer, like anything like that. All right, that side's done. Let's move on to the left side of my face, and I'm gonna use a completely clean brush, same type of brush, this is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I really, really, really love this brush. So good for foundation, so good at just blending everything in. I'm gonna use the shade Creamy Tan today. Normally I use like Creamy Vanilla more in the winter. This is a little bit darker and it's a better match for me like into the summertime. So I'm gonna just apply it onto the brush and then I'm gonna blend it in. I'm wondering if this is going to be too dark, so I think that I might just mix in a tiny bit of creamy vanilla because I feel like this might still be a little bit too dark. And the shape tape definitely smells way better. All right, so here I am now. I'm gonna just try to get it in. You can see that it's more coverage. I definitely don't need to use as much. And I mean, the coverage on this is unreal. I'm just gonna go in here, do the other side. Okay, so what do you guys think? Do you think, aside from looking at the color, because obviously I don't know how much it shows on camera, but there is definitely a color tone difference. I can fix that easily with like my powder, bronze, or blush, all that. By the time I'm done with my face, you won't even be able to notice that. So try not to look at that. Just look at the sheer coverage. What do you think? Do you think that this side looks more covered? Do you think it looks more like skin or do you think that this side looks more like skin? Obviously you can tell, look at the difference in the finish. This is a lot more dewy, satin-like. There's a lot of moisture peeking through and I did not put anything on my face under this. So this is just my skin. I have normal to dry skin. In the summer, I'm kind of just like normal and I'll get like a little oily in my T-zone. In the winter, I am super dry. So I think I have pretty normal skin. The coverage, I can see a tiny bit peeking through. I don't know if you can, it's not a big deal. The way it feels on my face right now, this feels like very like, 
like I can feel the breathability where the left side definitely feels tighter like I have makeup on but it still looks like skin. So I think it's just really comes down to your preference. All right, so I'm gonna put the rest of my makeup on and we're gonna go through all the features and benefits and all the pros and cons of these two foundations. Okay, let's talk features and benefits of the two. So I'm gonna start with the Tarte Face Tape Foundation and you can get it off the Ulta website and then the Tarte website. I believe that Tarte frequently has sales and I know that there's some influencers who also have like discount codes so you can get a discount that way too. I'm gonna to quickly get into the description of how it's described on the website. So basically the formula is inspired by Tarte's iconic Shape Tape Concealer. It's hypoallergenic. It's said to be long wearing, full coverage. Foundation mattifies hydrates and brightens appearance. I agree with all of that. And it comes in 50 different shades with five different undertones, so you can find a shade. But then again, I feel like when there's so many shades to choose from, it can be overwhelming. And then you're buying like more than you need trying to figure out which one will work. So it also says that it's transfer proof, waterproof, and sweat proof. And it's formulated with snow mushroom extract, apple fruit extract, hyaluronic acid to hydrate and brighten your appearance. I love that. So based on a survey, it said that it has helped minimize pores, cover dark spots and redness, make your skin appear smoother, felt comfortable and gentle on the skin, felt lightweight and allowed the skin to breathe. It is vegan, hypoallergenic, which I already mentioned, and it is supposed to last for 12 hours. $39 for the bottle and you get one fluid ounce. And they also have a travel size for like $15, but I think it only comes in six shades. And the Tarte does not have SPF. So next up is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover Foundation. This has been my go-to full coverage foundation for a long time. If you didn't see one of my original full coverage videos reviewing that foundation, I'll put it up above in the eye if you wanna check it out. Okay, so you can also buy this at Ulta. So the details, it's a liquid cream makeup, so that's really important. As you could have probably seen when I pumped it out onto the brush, you could see that the Tarte formula was definitely like more watery, like a liquid foundation, whereas the Estee Lauder was definitely more creamy and it came out like thicker. Okay, so it says this soothing liquid cream makeup is designed to camouflage all skin imperfections, including surgical scars, acne scars, tattoos, birthmarks, sunspots, and varicose veins. So this is also marketed as a body foundation too. It does have an SPF of 15, which I love. And this also claims to have 12 hour wear, natural looking long wearing, and it won't clog pores. And Estee Lauder is not a vegan or cruelty free company. I don't believe unless something changed. So I just thought I'd throw it out there and it has only 14 shades and it retails for $43. All right, so let's get into the categories. So I have like seven categories that I kind of broke them up into, which I feel like will be super helpful. So the first category is coverage. The Estee Lauder definitely has more coverage to it. I think that if you have really difficult things to cover, this is gonna be your best bet. But I do feel like the Tarte is really full coverage too. And if you're just looking to cover maybe some like acne or some dark spots and you don't have anything that's giving you a really, really hard time. I think that this could be a really good option, especially like during the daytime, like every day. Like if you want full coverage, but you don't want like to feel like you have a mask on. So as far as blendability, they're both very blendable, but the Estee Lauder, I've said it in a couple of my other videos, you have to work quickly because it dries down very fast and it does oxidize where I feel like the face tape doesn't do that and it's easier to, it's like a regular foundation it's not like a cream like this is like what you would think of as like a body coverage makeup where this is just a full coverage foundation if that makes sense so heaviness estee lauder maximum cover is by far i can feel it it feels like i have something on does it look like i have something on that would be the question that you guys would answer i have it on the left side do you feel like it looks like skin or do you feel like i have a mask on in comparison from the right side to the left side of course you have to like it so what you're looking at in the mirror is what matters most nobody else's opinion matters you have to like it so as long as you like the way it looks, then you should be good to go. I will say if you don't like a heavy feeling, especially if you're planning on wearing this like as an everyday all day, you're probably not going to like that unless there's a bigger like trade-off or payoff. Again, depending on what you're covering, it may be worth it to you. 
So shade range, the Tarte has 50 shades to choose from, ranging from cool, neutral, and warm. And the Estee Lauder also has cool, neutral, and warm, but it only has 14 shades. So obviously you may have a little bit of an issue finding your shade. So I typically use creamy vanilla like all year round when I don't have a tan. And then in the summer, I'll use creamy tan, which is definitely a lot darker. I know for a while they had like no other, like their lightest shade was creamy vanilla. And that's like what I use. There wasn't anything for people who had fair skin, but now they added in, I think two more shades, which is good. I felt like their foundation range kind of ran a little bit dark. So for price, the face tape comes in at $39, where the Estee Lauder Maximum Cover comes in at 43. So it's a little bit more expensive. And this is also one ounce. So you are getting the same amount of product. SPF, if that's something that's important and you like like an all-in-one, the Estee Lauder does has SPF of 15. That's not enough for me in the summer. I also wear an SPF under my makeup every day, but I also use the Milani Make It Last. This is 30 SPF. And I also like to dust, this is the Physicians Formula Powder. It's translucent and it has an SPF of 30 in it. All right, let me get back on track here. The next category is wearability and lastability. And I know there's gonna be a ton of questions on transfer proof. So I will say that the Estee Lauder Maximum Cover, like if I were to put my hand like this, or not that I would wanna like rub my face on something, but if I did, and I didn't have like blush bronze or all that other jazz on. I just had this on. It is definitely very transfer proof in comparison to the shape tape. So this definitely like if you touch your face, it feels like more tacky when you first put it on and it like can kind of easily rub off, but it's nothing crazy where this is like it's on and you can tell it's on and it's stiff and it's like it's not going anywhere. So as far as last stability, I will say that I don't like to wear my foundation for a ton of time, but I will say that this stuff does not budge. I don't know that I've left this on for 12 hours, so I'm not sure that I could even give a fair judgment on that. I just feel like my natural oils would start breaking this down and I know that this doesn't get broken down. So I'm not sure if this would really last that 12 hours. So I just wanted to mention that, but again, I haven't really tested it, but I have noticed that it does tend to rub off a little bit more. But again, it's a great option for full coverage. I've been really, really enjoying it. I've been using it a ton. It smells great where I don't think that the Estee Lauder smells that great. It doesn't smell awful. Like it doesn't smell like paint, but it doesn't smell as pleasant as the face tape. And one more thing that I wanna mention is, so as far as like, you, you probably wanna know how do products perform over the foundation? So the Estee Lauder, everything goes on beautifully. I feel like I have no issues with like skipping or blending, but I have noticed that if I don't like powder down my face completely, especially when I go to put my blush on, like I don't know if you can tell today, but I feel like it gets a little bit patchy and it almost like wipes off the makeup where this side, like I put it on, it's not going anywhere. So I think that like, you just have to be careful of that. Like, so I have a lot of like hyperpigmentation in here and dark spots. So when I go to put bronzer on with that foundation, if it's not powdered down really good, it can slide around a little bit and there could be a little bit of patchiness. Let me know down below if you notice that or not. I mean, I don't know if it's just something I'm noticing. So this side has a shape tape on it, but in all fairness, I did use a lot of MAC Fix Plus, but you can see like there's definitely like skin and like dewiness peeking through more so than this side. And I use the same amount of Fix Plus on each side. So that might be something worth noting too. All right, so that is the roundup here of the face tape versus the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover. I hope you guys like this video. I hope it was helpful. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I do all different types of video on like makeup, beauty related stuff, as well as like home cleaning, organization, lifestyle, all that kind of thing. And some random things popped in here or there. All right, so that's it. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.